What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Wallet Monkey channel where we give you all the credit intel you need to grow your wallet. Today, we're going to talk about protecting that wallet, right? The name of the game is to acquire assets, real assets. That would be things like land, commodities, boats, physical things, right? And then we've got this other category, which is financial assets. And those are equities uh, and other things, uh, other yield bearing instruments uh, in the traditional legacy markets. How do we protect these assets? And how do we make them invisible? Meaning we remove our name completely off of our assets so that creditors, litigation, rulings cannot come in and grab from our cookie jar. How do we do that? Well, I wanted to give you the primer on one tool to do that today. Now, this is one of many things that you should be employing into your estate plan, but let's let's start with it, okay? I wanted to give you something to work off of. What we're gonna talk about today is asset protection trusts, APTs. Now, there's a couple different types. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna give you the, uh, the nuts and bolts here, uh, but before we get started, I wanna note that all asset protection trusts are irrevocable. Keep that in mind. Revocable means we can change it. Irrevocable means eh, you pretty much can't. Really, really hard, it's gonna be difficult, it's gonna cost you a ton of money, so just be sure if you get these things put in place is that you are sure. And whoever you work with, your uh, business advisor or whoever you're using is gonna tell you this as well. Okay, so this type of trust is used to protect your estate and your assets from creditors. This severs the connection between you and your assets. This is done by transferring ownership of your assets, land, etc., to a trust that's wholly controlled by a named trustee. This trust allows the owner to keep certain assets outside the scope of certain liability. Of course, if the trust is set up within an effective jurisdiction and administered effectively. So that's like the caveat. So yes, it sounds great in theory, just make sure you're getting this set up properly and yes, it could still fail. There's all kinds of mistakes that could occur if you're using the wrong guy and it's set up the wrong way. Just gotta say that, okay. Next, most people will use a domestic asset protection trust or domestic APT, which will hold all your assets inside the US. So that's the US legal system. That's, you know, that whole big game. If you don't want that, then what you would be looking at is a foreign APT. That's commonly called an offshore trust. Understand these are gonna be way more expensive, but they're set up outside the US, so you could have tax benefits outside of protection benefits, privacy benefits, and the plethora of, uh, other, of other benefits there, which is part of the reason why you pay so much more. Which states currently allow domestic APTs? Well, here you go. From Alaska to Wyoming, you're gonna notice some, some states on here, Delaware, Nevada, Wyoming. These are like popular states to set up LLCs as well. LLPs because they provide good protection, right? Now again, I'm not uh, I'm not your legal professional. I'm just a guy on YouTube. So you're gonna wanna look into all this for yourself, but here are the current states. This will probably change. APTs are becoming really, really popular. You know, even members of Congress and, and whatnot use these. So I think you're, you're fairly safe in terms of like, are these gonna get completely changed or, or taken away? Probably not, but yeah, they're becoming more popular. So expect more states to be adding on to allowing these, right? Lastly, you're probably wondering um, how much do APTs cost? Well, a domestic, you're ranging somewhere between two and 4,000. That's for a basic trust. Adding complex uh, complexity into this is gonna obviously increase costs. There might be a yearly management fee depending on your, your structure with your business advisor, I'm not sure. Admin management fees on the domestic side as well as on the offshore side, your range is somewhere probably between 20 and $50,000. And there's definitely gonna be additional yearly admin and uh, management fees, okay? So anyways, there you go. In five minutes, we have completely gone through this, how to essentially ghost your assets and add in protection, add in privacy, uh, from the legal beast that is the US legal system. Uh, if you got questions, I will tackle some of them, but understand I'm not trying to be here to answer your legal questions, <laughs> right? I'm not trying to be your attorney. I'm not trying to be your uh, business advisor at all. I'm just passing on this information. You're gonna want to ask these questions to whatever team you've got working in your corner for you. But anyways, I hope this is a great primer. We love you guys. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.